Hi everyone. Today, um, my name is Connor, and today we'll um, we'll be going through um, Instagram social media platforms by Facebook. What is Instagram? Instagram is the place to share your photos and vi videos, um, and it's and it's also available so you can post on it and have it all linked to Facebook. So you can have your Facebook post and Instagram. Most likely, you're going to be on Instagram so you can connect with young, with um, younger grandchildren and other groups who might um, who might use Instagram. But you might also have a Facebook account where it shares all your stuff to your Facebook. So it's all connected. And sorry, um, Instagram is available through the website or through the app, um, and they have a mobile app as well for Android and iPhone. Starting Instagram, first, you're either gonna go to the website, instagram.com, or you can download the app in the Apple App Store for iPhones or the Google Play Store for Android devices. Once on, this, once on the, um, the Instagram page, you're gonna get a sign-in page um, similar, to, similar to what it looks like on your right. Um, and you're gonna see you have the option to sign up, or um, many different options. As you can see here, you can also log in with Facebook and you can also reset your password. Um, next, um, to sign up, you're gonna fill in the boxes with the information. When you've successfully um, done it, you're just gonna tap the sign up button at the bottom of the screen or you can log in with Facebook. Instagram will now take you to the home page of the app slash um, the website. And it looks similar on both devices, but there's more functionality in the app. And on your first visit, um, little, we call them bubbles, but I'd call them more of a tutorial if any sense in any way would be that they're, um, they guide you through what you need to do. Other than that, you can um, next, you can see on my right um, um, that um, we've got the Your Story button. And then we've got um, everyone that the person follows. And you can see if it says live, that means that their friend is doing a live session. And you can all, and these things, they, get, they look like a picture with a circle around it. That's a story where you can view photos and videos. And then on the left, you can all, um, that's, you'll, and you'll access this page by tapping the home button at the bottom of the screen. Next, we're going to show you how to integrate, um, interact with posts. For posts, you've got three options. You can either comment with the little speech bubble. You can share it. And this, um, you can either share it to your friends through direct Instagram direct message or to your story for others to see. And finally, the heart. Um, you can also bookmark it so you can see the post again. Finally, if you see a post you don't agree with, you can tap the three dots at the top and then report it. And you can also click on the person's profile if you want to access the profile. And as I was saying before, if you tap the three dots, you're going to get a couple options like post notifications, um, report their profile, and so on. And you can also see in the post that you they, who liked it, and um, and you'll see a little excerpt of the post as well. Next, we're going to show you how to create your own post. So you're going to create your own post by tapping the plus at the bottom of the screen. And um, to start a post. Next, you'll see this page um, on your cell phone. And you can choose a photo or video from your camera library by tap the, uh, using the library button. Or you can tap photo or video to take a new photo and video for Instagram. And then you can see here, you can crop it and and other apps which connect with Instagram are also available through the app. Next, you're gonna see Boomerang. This is how you create a video, um, a video of 
um, of photos, I think it was. Um, and then and then the second button is called Layout, which is another app. Um, Layouts is helpful if you want to show multiple photos and Instagram at the same time on your post. You can also, as I was saying before, you can also take a photo or video. Next, um, you're going to see how to customize a photo. So, so um, you can see on here, after you click the edit button, you can choose what filter you want to add. Filters are kind of like making your photo brighter or darker or black and white. And you've got many options to manually adjust it as well, um, right through this menu. After that, you're just going to tap next to save it. And finally, you're going to get to this page where you're going to, where you're going to write a caption. Cap, caption is basically the text you want to write in your Instagram post. And, um, and then you can also tag a person. So if you have, let's say you have a friend or something that you want to add to the post, you can tag them and they'll get a notification on their device too. There's the business partner option, which is helpful, um, not as helpful for us. But that's more for advertisers. And then finally, um, adding a location is helpful if you want to show people or a specific area of people um, your post. And then at the bottom, you can share it to Facebook, Twitter, or Tumblr as well. Then, sorry, and then tap share at the very top. As we said, oh yeah, so I'll go more into depth into stories now. So stories um, are technically um, temporary posts, which can include video, GIF, um, and many other uh, mixed media content uh, options. And and they show um, like a status. You can put like your status post. You can put a whole bunch of different things in your story, but they only last for 24 hours. Next. Uh, next, um, in the Instagram story, you can switch every, um, um, when you open stories, They'll play through and you'll be able to view it for a couple of seconds. Then you can tap the right of the screen to skip a story or tap the left to go back. You can respond to the story by sending a message by tapping send message at the bottom here. You can also share it um, to direct messengers that you, the people that you direct message as well. Next, you'll just tap the X at the top of the screen. Next, we're going to show you how to create your own story. So you, like, you might like um, looking at other people's stories, but how about sharing what you've done with them? The easiest thing you can do is by tapping the camera button at the top of Instagram, and then you can take a picture when you're in normal mode. You can take a picture, or you can take a picture you already have from your camera, and you can put that in. And um, if you press and hold the white button, that's how you take a video. Next, direct message. You can see the logo on the side right here to show you what a direct message button looks like. This is how you directly message friends, family, groups, and social communities. And you can all, and you can message as many groups as you want through group messages or through private messages. And they're all in the intro. Next, we're going to show you the Facebook, we call it the Facebook Explore mode. And this is helpful if you want to search for who knows what, videos, messages, and, um, and you just tap the search button to look for them. And you can see here, there's IGTV. This is um, Instagram television. That's where they house a whole bunch of videos, uh, longer videos. And you can also search for your friends to follow them in the search button too. Um, but, note, but note that when you're in Explore, there might be content which um, you might not find as appropriate. And you can, um, so um, always watch out when you're in the Explore mode. Uh, next, um, when you do hit the search button, you, this is also, as I was saying, this is where you can find friends. So for example, if we type in Cyber Seniors, then you can see the Cyber Seniors logo right here. And, um, 
you can also see that that's the official one. And then um, if it's a big location, you'll probably see a location button and that looks like a location. Also, there's a hashtag and we'll get into that after. Um, next, you can see that you can follow them. For, mo for some people, you can even message them or email them. And this is dependent on how they show their information. Next, um, you can interact with the profiles by tapping this button. And this is where you can see all of their posts. Um, next, um, you can see it's called the activity page. And, and you'll see it at the very bottom. This menu, you'll normally see a red dot if, you, if someone liked your post or if you were tagged in a new post, for example. And you can see here that you've liked or, ta or, or were tagged in posts. And you can also see um, follow requests at the top here too. Next, um, you can see, um, you can tap the edit profile to add uh, different information about yourself. And then you can also tap the plus to add, a, to add something to your story as well. Next, hashtags. Hashtags are um, how we really um, categorize, um, categorize posts on Instagram. And um, you can probably find that there's probably a hashtag for everything. There's even a hashtag hashtag. But um, yeah, they're used for categorizing. Um, they're used for categorizing content. And they're also used um, if you find something that you want to tag them in. This is also how you, how you tag um, like a specific group or topic as well. Next, tagging people. This is helpful um, when you create a post and you want to tag, you want your, your other person that you know, if they were involved in the photo, for example, and you want them to be able to see it. Um, then you'll tag them um, by typing at before, uh, the at sign before you put their profile name and you can easily search for them as well. Next. Next, how to make your profile your account private. To make your account private, you're going to tap the three lines at the top, followed by settings, then privacy, then account privacy. And then you'll select a private account. And uh, do you want to change your privacy settings? You're going to tap settings, privacy, and then you can look at all the information and interactions you've had as well. And you can also choose who can comment on your posts, see your stories, and more. Next, changing security settings. You're, if you want to change your security settings, you're just going to tap settings, security. Then you can change your password. Um, if you need to put a more secure password, you can see where your, where your account's been logged into. And you can also enable two-factor authentication so people can't, um, will need your phone or email or your phone number to log into the device as well as your password. Next, you can also see at the very bottom, um, the apps and websites which are connected to your account and then download data um, and access data, which are very helpful if you want to see um, what Instagram has available about to you and information as well. You can, and you can easily download that information whenever you feel fit. Do you have any questions? You can also follow us on Instagram at CyberSeniors. <laughs>